Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Microsoft Project uses effort-driven scheduling by default when you assign your work resources to or remove resources from a specific task. As an example, this means that if you assign one person to a task, Microsoft Project will calculate how long that person will take to complete the task based on the person's work availability schedule. If you assign another person with the same work availability to the same task, Microsoft Project would then decrease the total duration of the task by half. When using effort-driven scheduling, assigning the total workload of the task equally to the two resources results in a reduction of the work time involved by half. Note that you are not required to assign resources to tasks. There are some tasks whose duration cannot be reduced by assigning additional resources. However, for most tasks, effort-driven scheduling allows you to know when a work resource is supposed to be working and on what tasks they should be working. It can also prevent overscheduling of the resources that are available. So, for example, using effort-driven scheduling can prevent assigning too many tasks to a single work resource. It also allows you to track the costs associated with the resource as it completes the task in the project. To allocate resources to tasks, you need to be able to select the task items. You should switch to the Gantt chart view of your project file when assigning resources. You can also see the changes to task durations in this view as well. Now a helpful feature of the Gantt chart view is that you can view resource assignments for selected tasks in a separate task form within the Gantt chart view. To enable the display of the task form within the Gantt chart view, select Window from the menu bar and then choose the Split command. You'll see the task form view appear as a separate pane at the bottom of the window. When you select a task in the Gantt chart view, you'll be able to see assigned resources in this area. Note that you can choose Window and then select Remove Split from the menu bar in order to close the task form when you're finished assigning resources if desired. Now another way to assign resources is by using the Assign Resources dialog box in Microsoft Project. To do this, select the task in the project file to which you want to assign resources, and then either select Tools from the menu bar and choose the Assign Resources command, or click the Assign Resources button in the standard toolbar. You could also press Alt plus F10 on your keyboard if you prefer to use the keyboard shortcut. Either way, that will open the Assign Resources dialog box. Next, you would select the name of the work resource that you wish to assign to the selected task from the list shown. If you would like to select multiple resources at the same time, you can click on the first one to select them, and then hold down the control key on your keyboard, and then click on the other assignments that you would like to make within this dialog box. You can then click the assign button once you've selected the resource or resources to assign to this selected task. Now once you click the Assign button, you will see the units and cost for the task assignment shown for the selected resources in the Assign Resources dialog box. You may also see an RD column if using Microsoft Project Professional. This column is related to setting a priority for resource assignments if using Microsoft Project Server with the Resource Substitution column. Note that you can also remove work resources in this dialog box. In order to select the resource to remove, just click on its name to select it, and then click the Remove button. This will also impact the units and cost shown. If desired, you can also substitute one work resource for another by selecting the assigned work resource and then clicking the replace button to open the replace resource list. Here you can select the name of the substitution from the list and then click the OK button to substitute the resource. Once again, note that substitution may change the units and cost shown, but not necessarily. Now once you've finished making your work assignments, you can click the Close button. Note that you should be able to see the resource assignment information for the selected task appear in the task form at the bottom of the window once you have work assigned. 
Note that you can also assign work resources to selected tasks by simply using the task form view shown within the Gantt chart view. So for example, if you wanted to add a second work resource to a selected task, first select the task in the Gantt chart view, and any resource assignments will be shown below in the task form view at the bottom of the split in the window shown. You can add a resource by simply clicking into the next available blank row in the resource name column within the task form view, and then use the drop down arrow that appears to select the name of the second work resource to assign to the project. Note that the effort driven checkbox in this pane is checked and that fixed units is selected under the task type drop down in this pane. That means that when you click the OK button in the task form to save your changes, Microsoft Project will use effort driven scheduling on this task and recalculate the duration of the task while holding the actual units of work performed as a fixed value. This will then cause Microsoft Project to decrease the duration of the task based on the extra work that the second resource can perform. Note that if you didn't want the addition of a second resource to decrease the duration of the task, you could choose Fixed Duration from the Task Type drop-down in the Task Form view, and then click the OK button to allow Project to keep the duration of the task fixed, but simply decrease the work hours attributed to the task to each resource assigned changing the units of work for each resource on the task. Also note that it is possible to keep the work value for the tax task fixed if desired when creating resource assignments by just simply choosing the fixed work choice within the task form view. And once again, this can often result in a durational decrease as well. Now remember, when you add or remove resources, you should click the OK button shown in this view in order to save your work assignment changes to the selected task. Note that you can also click the Previous and Next buttons that appear in this task form view to move to the next task selection within your project file. And this is just simply another way of moving through the tasks shown in the Gantt chart view. Like what you see? Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Over two dozen titles are available in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more.